another day, another part of the van build. Well, I say another day, with how much little time I've been able to get on the van recently. This particular job might take me the best part of a month, but uh, you'll think of it as a day, because it'll be in one video. Today, we're gonna be tackling van insulation. Yes, one of the most important parts of a van build. And uh, this should have been done a long time ago. Let's just say this is like the van build from hell, if you wanna call it that. The van's good, uh, the quality products are good, the people that are helping me are good. The only dimwit that's around is me. Because <laughs> I'm seeming to do things in all of the wrong way. So we've got a bed that's kind of half built that shouldn't have been built because we should have done the insulation first. We've got old insulation in here from when the van was brought, whether that was factory or someone else bunged it in, I have no idea. Um, the leisure batteries that were installed by Dave Outdoors, very thankfully by Dave Outdoors, have had to have been disassembled because we had to then flip the bed. It just, it's, it's just been an absolute um, learning curve, I suppose is the best way to say it. Yeah, it's been a steep learning curve on how to build a van. But interestingly, actually, before we get onto the insulation and getting that van prepped to put some of this fantastic dodo mat thermal fleece we've got some loads of products here from dodo matt who have been kind enough to send me all of the insulation requirements for sound deadening insulation for the van so a big shout out to dodo matt for sending it me all all the products that i'm using today i'm going to leave a link in the description of the video to dodo matt if you guys want to check them out and see if you're interested in their products as well um they've been very helpful actually talking me through the whole process giving me loads of kind of like links to things of how to do it properly because I need all the help I'm going to get. I'm certainly no professional. I think you've learned that by now. But before we get onto the insulation and trying to rip out the old stuff and replace it with initially some sound deadening, anyone in the market for some leisure batteries? These two leisure batteries right here, brand spanking new, opened, what, a week or two ago as of making this video? Um, I've been able to hopefully get my hands on a lithium battery from a company who are interested in working with some YouTubers, etc. So that's going to be replacing them. Now I paid well over a couple hundred quid for these bad boys, 110 amp hour each. I'm also getting rid of the split charge relay that we just recently installed into the van because the new battery won't go with that one. So it's just been an absolute mishmash of successes and failures, I guess. Um, but yeah, if you're interested in some brand new leisure batteries, send me a message on Instagram, just down here. And uh, to be quite frank, I mean, you'll be getting a good deal because I just want a shot of them. So uh, if you want some brand new ones, let me know. But yeah, this is the task for today, or for me at least, for the next few weeks. But for you, you'll be watching it in one video. We're gonna take off the old pieces of trim. These have already been taken off. Uh, I wanna see how these go on. So maybe trying to pry a little bit underneath there. Um, might be a good idea. I know the, the handle's kind of attached to that, but we can take this part here off. And of course, I've got someone else helping me out today as well. Hello. Say hello, Dad. <clears throat> hello, everybody. <laughs> so, I got that. The job today is to get these pieces of trim off, and whatever insulation's already in there, like this stuff, needs to come out, basically. So Ooh, we'll get that done, okay. and then the next part of the video will be another day. We'll be on Sunday when you help me. Oh, okay. All right, we're gonna crack on, try and get these trim pieces off. If we encounter any problems and I can give you any hints and tips, then I'll surely do so, but uh, we're gonna crack on. Be careful on that bed, it's not finished. Hello. Oh. What a feeling, here you are. Try that one. Tell me if that fits in. Just a job. Brilliant. Perfect. Okay. Just watch hold, that your there. hold your hand under there, hold your hand under there. Okay, no washer. No, it's just, no, just no washer, is there? I'll take this off. Okay. Another one. That's it, Get, work on that side. A little bit closer to getting this off now. All the carpet's off. I'm just undoing the screws. I've just got that part of the headliner off. That side's down. We'll work on getting that side. And I don't think there's gonna be much more work to do to get the rest of it down. I've just been thinking, right? 
This is the first day, although my dad's coming to help me out this afternoon, so he'll be making a, an appearance for the rest of this video. Yeah, I know he was here at the start, but that's a different day. Anyway, it's confusing. But this morning, I've just got Ricky Gervais, Carl Pilkington and Steve Merchant's podcast on from XFM. I'm working on the van, I'm alone, and uh, there's something very peaceful about that. It might be bloody cold, but yeah, not a bad feeling. Whew. I think now I'm starting to understand why a few of you on the Facebook groups mentioned it was a good idea for two people to do this. Right, we're down. And it hasn't snapped yet. Well, upon initial inspection, I don't know if you can see my head. Uh, upon initial inspection, the roof looks in fairly good nick, apart from said condensation. We'll sort that. That's my dad. <laughs> Hello. He's arrived to help. Hello. Now he said to me before I turned the camera, he said, do you want me to tell a joke on camera? I haven't pre-listened to it yet, so uh, hopefully it's not blue. Go on. Well, I stopped the other day about a lady in Tesco. She said, um, do you believe in reincarnation? I said, no, uh, I never believed it when I was a frog. For Christ's sake. <laughs> Come on. <clears throat> Steady, steady. I've got these from Dodo, Matt. Which are their sound deadening and vibration control pads. Now they come as sticky adhesive that goes onto the side panels of the van here. That's where we're gonna start anyway, at least. We're gonna clean back the old, well, what was the old insulation? Get that back to nice bare metal again. Um, and then we're gonna start putting the sound deadening pads on the side panels. We'll then start doing the roof. And then once we've done the side panels on the roof, we'll see how much we've got left and see if we can bung it in anywhere else. But uh, that's the first task of the day. So we're gonna get on with this, get some of this first laid down, and then we'll start thinking about layers of insulation. But first off, let's swap the sound end in. So that's piece number one applied. Just taking the sticky back off. I'm gonna go for piece number two in a minute. My dad's working hard on trying to get the rest of the residue off, but we've done the absolute very best we can do on this back panel, getting rid of all the residue from the old insulation that was stuck in. Just using the cloth just to kind of wipe the area as clean from dust and debris as possible. And then we're gonna carry on applying. As these bigger areas start to kind of fill out a little bit, I'll then start cutting these more to shape and trying to fill in more of the gaps up here. So just as the light's starting to escape on our second day of insulation, we'll be back tomorrow in the next 30 seconds of this video. Um, I just wanna show you the difference, right? We've only just put the first layer of sound end in on the back two rear panels, okay? Just as we're walking away for the day, just listen to this, okay? Driver's door, no sound ending whatsoever. Like tin, basically. Same knock. Brilliant. I just can't believe that. That is- Brilliant, that's brilliant. Same on the back. Brilliant. And then... Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Why doesn't every vehicle have this? The next day arrived and I managed to make a start on sound dead in the roof. Starting with the larger panels first and then cutting thinner pieces for the gaps. That is all the sound deadening done. Well, the first layer of it at least. All the roof has been done. The reason why we've left these panels out is because this is gonna be where we reattach the roof lining. And I don't really wanna add any more thickness to the roof that I had before because my head's already more or less hitting the roof as it is with the headlining back on. So we're gonna kind of keep these bare if we can. We're just filling in the gaps of where they recess into the roof. All of the side panels on the doors and on the back panels here have all been sound deadened on the back. We've also got on the back window there, just underneath the window, the back doors, all the crevices have all got sound ending pads in. This layer is very different to the sound ending pads that we've just used. It's like a seven mil thick foam. And we're basically gonna be going over the exact same area that we've just put the initial sound deadening pads with the seven mil foam and adding an extra layer of sound deadening and insulation. Right, that is both layers of sound deadening and the first layer of insulation done. We've got the sound deadening pads underneath this seven mil foam on the side panels, on the roof, and on the sliding door. Now we need to start work on the more traditional kind of insulation material, which is that stuff over there, the dodo mat thermal fleece. 
We've got some adhesive spray in the front cab to be able to spray on the sides, to be able to affix it to. Just some old cans of uh, trim hold, a bit smashed up, but uh, they'll do the job. Um, I think that one might have been from Dave Outdoors, maybe. It could be, could be. <laughs> a few things donated from Dave. But first, let's get that open and start packing it. So we've just started on the ceiling now with the insulation. I'm using the rest of this trim hold adhesive. I'd recommend if you're going to be using any kind of adhesive spray, use some kind of face mask. I don't know how good this one is. It was the cheapest one available. Hopefully it does the job. Don't do as I do, do as I say. But we're going to crack on and get the rest of this roof done. We're going to keep the headliner off for a little bit actually, because we don't need to put the headliner on just yet. We've got to figure out wiring where it's going to go first. So. Once we get the roof done, then we're gonna get the five mil foam on the floor underneath the carpet. And then the insulation's done with the final hurdle. I can see the finish line. So this is the Dodo Mat Thermal Liner Pro. This one is a little bit thinner than what we put on the sides behind the insulation. This one's only five mil, but it is foil backed. So any heat that would have been lost through the floor will hopefully radiate back through to the sleeping area. Right, we're going to cut this to shape. I think we're going to cut the middle of the van first and then any offcuts we've got, we're then going to fill in these little gaps here. It's uh, sticky backed, adhesive backed as well. Okay. So it shouldn't be moving anywhere once we stick it down. And then we'll get the carpet back on. That's better. That's good. That. That'll do. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Stay steady. Steady. So just tell people, Dad, how long has this taken us? Two They've years. obviously watched- Two years. <laughs> They've watched one video. <laughs> but with your schedule and my schedule, this has been a long time. But this is the final piece- Final piece. Of insulation. We've got insulation. all of the fluff. We've got the sound deadening. We've got the <laughs> yes. foam in the sides. It's the final it's the last piece. piece. Let's hope it goes in right. Look at that. And that's good enough. That's cool, isn't it? That's good enough. That's like really a spaceship, man. Really good. And that's cool. it. The van is now insulated. I want to say a big thank you to my dad behind the camera. Thanks, Dad, for helping me out. Thanks, on no problem. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I also wanted to give a dedicated shout out to Dino and his son, Bobby. Uh, I wish Bobby a speedy recovery. And thank you guys for watching and supporting the videos. Also, a big thank you to Dodo Matt for sending all these fantastic products. This might well be one of the warmest vans um, in the country after we finish this. All we've got to do now is put the covers of the actual trim back on, get it all carpeted, get the metal carpeted, and then get the headliner back on and get that carpeted. But that'll be a different day. Whether we make a video out of it, I don't know yet. But yeah, what do you reckon? Should we go get some food? Yeah, okay, that sounds yeah. good. All right, okay. Enjoy the rest of your day, whatever you're doing, guys. And. Uh, <laughs> I'll see you in the not too distant future when we're doing either something else on the van or we might be going for the first camp. I'll see you next time.